I f***ed up. I f***ed up real good. Are you ready? Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Zob Gaming's Fantasy Booking AEW. I really probably should change that name. Oh well. I keep saying that, but I probably never will. I've changed it so many times. Welcome to a special edition of Fantasy Booking. I'm Tim Green. I'm one of the voices of As the Buckle Turns. You should say my name after that, don't I? I don't know. But, no, this is not the next episode in Fantasy Booking. This is just a special occasion because, as I said in the beginning of this episode, of this special announcement, I f***ed up. I f***ed up up real good but i think it's going to be a great mistake so as you all know if you've watched the behind the scenes of fantasy booking and this the latest episode that went up on saturday i am now using total extreme wrestling 2020 however part of my mess mistake besides what this is a whole episode this whole little thing is about is I was such in a rush to get some new content out because I was happy to have the game. I didn't do everything I should. Now let me explain. I have simulated up to this Wednesday's Dynamite, so the done in the bag. However, I realized after that I made mistakes by rushing through setting up the database. A few mistakes. Let's deal with the most important ones at first. The first one was talent. I had talent that I signed in 2016 that are now signed with WWE in real life. So in 2020, they're signed with them. And I didn't have them sign. Specifically, the person I'm talking about is Mercedes Martinez. I didn't fix that in-game. Realized that after this. But I didn't realize this until after I realized the bigger mistake. I have a certain star. I cannot reveal who they are because that will be part of the surprise Um cut in a few weeks not this wednesday but next in two episodes that will be revealed where they were on hiatus and in 2016 they came available at the last minute and i was like oh i grabbed i grabbed him so yes i can reveal it to him i grabbed him and i said i know what i can do with him awesome this will work out really really good well when i'm switching over to the 2020 i forgot to check his hiatus i thought i checked it so I got rid of it. I didn't. And his hiatus was going to be like six months. Six months? No, three months. About three months from the start of the game. And I was like, no, 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 no. I had a decision to make. I can change my plans. Or I could re-go back into my database, start a new game, simulate everything again. And I decided to do that. Just that. Mostly because if you watch this past Saturday's episode, you know that I was talking constantly about how I thought ring performances, match ratings should be a little bit higher. That is not the case. It's because I rushed through my database and didn't go through and fix all my stars to update their stats and their popularity for what they were in 2016 when I ended. That was the issue. Because I actually simulated the start of the game again got through the first card, realized I had forgot to lock down a certain talent, Mercedes Banks, and WWE kept trying to fucking steal her from me. Luckily, she's been locked down now in game. She's not going anywhere. She's making bank now. So let's get to the points. I don't want this video to be too long. Because I went back through the, the database, fixed all the stats, mostly just updating the stats by like one or two points, about fixing some of the popularity because it went from like 15 to like they're now like 25 um, over three months, the three months because they've been, they've been on national TV, all that. Things are looking good, but I decided when I was doing the bat database to throw a little intrigue into things. Like, what if I go through and I take a few smaller companies and just give them a little bit more money? to play with to see how that would change the in-game dynamics. One such company was Ring of Honor. 
I'm excited to say what would happen if I gave them 10 million versus I think their million. I think it was their budget. What would happen? Well, let's find out because I got a shock while playing this. I wish I was recording the screen beforehand when I saw this, but let me set up set you up. Because I was dealing with the WWE trying to steal Mercedes Bank back because she was not in an ironclad contract. She was a handshake deal. No, I think she had a written, but she wasn't like all this other stuff where WWE could still come in and steal her away from me. Dealing with that, but I didn't notice in one of the news pieces that the end of Ring of Honor, I meant to go and check on that. I'm like, why? I gave them a lot more money because I was dealing with Mercedes Bank and putting in a big contract bid for her to lock her down. I didn't do that. But then I started some, seeing some other th news pieces in um, Ring of Honor about it, which didn't make sense. And actually, this is where I started recording. So we're going to bring that up. As you can see, I just seen this, but it didn't make sense. So I decided to go and check on Ring of Honor. Notice the their budget. Negative $10 million. Apparently, when I was putting in the extra money, I've accidentally hit a negative and saved it and didn't just realize it. So they have negative $10 million. I didn't want to go and restart this because I already had to simulate the all oh, this past Saturday's card again, which just by the way, so you know, the one that's live on the sh on the card on this channel is canon. I didn't change any of the results. The results are the exact same thing. It's just in game, some of those ma um, match ratings were a little bit higher. Um, the in ring performance were a little bit higher than some of them, but nothing where it's going to make a big deal. I didn't really want to have to set that back up because also I've been going through and short, uh, shortlisting a bunch of talent. I didn't want to do that again. Could I purchase Ring of Honor? Well, it turns out I can, but I decided to go with it. And I had the option of just plundering them and taking their talent, their pay-per-views, all that good stuff, and then just closing down the show. But no, we're not going to do that. As much as that would have been fun after All Out, having a bunch of champions show up in, from Ring of Honor, and then just unify the championships, I decided to make them my second brand, my, not my second brand, my developmental brand, and bought them. They still exist, but... They now are under me. And looking through some of their talent, I'm like, there's a few talent here that I don't want down there. I want them on my brand, such as Jay Lethal, Jay and Mark Briscoe, Flip Gordon, Jeff Cobb. Oh, yeah. Marty Squirrel, PJ Black. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want Rush, but stupid AAA came in and got a, uh ironclad deal with him and stealing out my world champion now for Ring of Honor. So, fuck you, AAA. We're no longer friends in game, by the way. So, yes, now I've, because of a mistake I made trying to make the game more interesting, I still made the game more interesting, just in a different way. I now have a place where I can send talent that are, um, I've been using a jobbers or a lesser to get more experience. I can also bring them up for I have a pool that I can bring up for people I need to put over I just want to get people wins on dark or on dynamite I don't have to go and do independence anymore or, or the locals I can just bring them up from your honor send them back down and we'll be good that's awesome so I'm excited for this I hope you are too let me know down in the comment section what you think of AEW purchasing ring of honor making them all elite that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to bring up this thing because it was shock. Wasn't expecting this. So let me know down in the comment section. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It's a great way to help support Zop Gaming. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and turn on all notifications so you know when all Zop Gaming, Fantasy Booking, and other Zop content go live. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, and I'll chat with you in my next video. Bye.